Okay, everybody, here's something, uh, a little sculpting trick. Now, if you're a 3D Max user, you might be familiar with a Max script called uh, XYV, XYZ to UVW, or is it UVW to XYZ? What it basically does is it takes um, your mesh and it unwraps it onto a flat plane. So then you can add bits on and little grills for hard service stuff, things like that. So um, I was trying to think of a way to do that um, from a digital sculpting perspective, and this is what I came up with. Uh, I came up with a little while ago. I've never actually had the chance to uh, pass this on yet. So this is a new one. Um, and you'll see the usefulness of this, hopefully, by the end of this. This is a very, very, very basic example, because, to be honest, I've been recording all day for about eight or nine hours now, and I am absolutely knackered. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the only word for it. So let's divide this up. I'm going to divide it quite high. Um, I know the machine will take it, so it's, it's up there now to uh, about six and a half million. And I'm going to take a displacement map I created from the hard service model, from the te te texturing tutorial. Um, and I just generated one before I started this. Um, and just stick on there and press go and wait. It look a bit of a mess because it's, that one's based on a sphere. It's sculpted from a sphere, but if you're using this for a character, say it was for armour, like a Gears of War type of bloke, um, they'd be much better set out than this, and it would give you a whole load of um, of options. Now, this is already pretty heavily sculpted, as you can see. Um, what you can do is, if you're not quite sure which bits your mesh and which bit isn't, you can add the texture. And, um, it's obviously got no other maps with it, because you're speculating what is very important. Vastly underrated, by the way. Um, so that helps me to know where I'm sculpting. It's already pretty busy. So we'll try a couple of things with uh, some curves. So we'll go down to the list, select it, press C, and you can then navigate it around and try and find somewhere. But I'll say this is already pretty packed. Now remember that that there is going to get squashed uh, into a nearly vertical position. You can tell that by at the top, above that, how the circle has turned into an oval. So you'd use that as your guide. But with better set out UVs, be great, you know, so you stick that 300 stroke on curve and it'll use current brush settings. Now that's way too aggressive. If we have a quick look at hide the curve, you can see it's, you know, it's too deep. Um, so what we'll do is we'll create a new curve. This time we'll go for a square. The French curve is actually quite nice if you want to try that one as well. Scroll down, select it size it down by holding the C button and try and find somewhere nice for it. Um, the trick is if sometimes if you're working at a different scale, um, you've got to maybe have one or two goes at um, the brush uh, strength on this. Now as I say this is the first time I've recorded trying this um, at all. It's been an idea up till now. So uh, you'll see the first go I have um, when I duplicate it on curve, the brush is a little bit too um, too shallow. So we do it again with something heavier. You see what you can see there? It's, mm, it works, but not quite. Um, so we try something. We'll see, even try a bit more aggressive brush, a lot stronger, and we'll scale that round. Try and fit it somewhere. You obviously want to be doing this where you've left space on the mesh, not crammed it full of little greebles like I did. Stick it on there. Then zoom out. Hide the gradient, and the grid, and then hide the curves. And away you go. Basically, then you could generate a new displacement map. Um, and either apply it to your base mesh with a mesh displace, or just use it in whatever external program you're going to render from. Even use your normal map. It's a great way of getting extra detail and sculpting it in. So it's easier to add to a flat plane than it is sometimes to a curved surface. Um, so that's my top tip, top win tip, that one, uh, trademark Wayne Robson. So I hope you've enjoyed that one. Uh, I'm off for a well-earned rest. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.